you, if anything has developed over the last two years specifically in terms of um, that? So um, do you think that cybernetic enhancements are becoming more likely to happen in the future or less likely to happen or mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah uh, so, so i think it, they're pr- increasingly likely we're getting better at biotechnology and more mm. and more amateurs are getting involved uh, there is an interesting split of course between the people who do research on implanting things Mm. The medical, uh, uh, the medical technical companies who actually sell products to sick people, uh, and then you have the various groupings of transhumanists, which of course are very all over the place. On one hand, you have the grinders who want to do kind of kitchen table surgery, yeah. and the point yeah. there is very much, oh, this is bloody, this is uh, a bit, bit punk. Yeah. And that yeah. probably adds a lot of the value to it for them. And on the other side, you have uh, middle class people like me who would love to have an implant if it's cool and elegant and safe and uh, not too painful. Yeah. And yeah. that's a very different uh, aim. And then, of course, the really interesting group here is the artists who do it for completely different reasons. Mm. So when I look at what I've been doing over the past two years, I think one important aspect is uh, I haven't been working that much on human enhancement because I'm more involved right now in thinking about extreme long range futures, uh, okay. which is interesting because they're fairly empty of people. Uh, there are people there, but I can't say anything about what we're up to because you can't predict culture and uh, the individual complex actions. Mm. But I can say a fair bit about the physical limits of what a super civilization might do. Yeah. So yeah. my current project about what I call grand futures is all about um, where are the ultimate uh, ultimate limits for intelligent life in the universe. Okay. And that's very fun, and uh, I'm having a real fun writing this enormous tome of a book about <laughs> it. At the same time, I'm very aware that whoa, there are very few individuals here. Yeah. Uh, there is very little of a normal bioethics and discussions about uh, the kind of concerns I would not normally talk about. Uh, mm. So I'm actually hoping once I'm done with this to do something a bit more closer to the people again. Uh, but yeah. the interesting part is, of course, that out in the world, uh, what has been happening over the past few years is 